Hey, what's up, SAS Masters? My name is George, and today we're gonna check out Upfeed. This is a roadmap and change log creator. Now, either you have a SAS, or maybe you just want to update your users with this system. Now, there's a great deal going on, and we're gonna check that out right now. So let's jump over to my desktop. All right, this is the Upfeed deal that's going on right now, and the deal is actually pretty good because basically you get everything unlimited. The only drawback is that some things are going to be developed in the future, so that's something you have to consider. So you get a great deal, but there's things that are going to be coming in the future. So what do you get? You get unlimited feedback, users, managers, companies, and brands. So for example, you can create roadmaps for all the companies that you have or you're going to have for clients. You get unlimited roadmaps, feature boards. Unlimited custom domains is coming soon. Those are the little things that I'm telling you that are going to be developed. So you're going to have custom domains for each single roadmap that you're going to create. So that's really good. Now, for now, you can use the link that they provide you for Upfeed or you can embed this on your site. And the deal is only $69 for a lifetime deal. That means you pay once and you have this forever. Okay, so let's jump over to, to the dashboard of Upfeed. Okay. This is, let me go dashboard. This is a dashboard for Upfeed. Before we jump into this, let me show you how the public page is going to look, all right? So this is a public page right now. It's my logo. This is I'm logged in. There's no Upfeed uh, branding on it. The only Upfeed branding you're gonna see right now is the link and the fav icon. So once they launch the custom domain, this is gonna be done, all right? And the fav icon is going to be modified later on. That's something that's also going to be developed. So we got the planned, in progress, and complete. We have the roadmap here. We have give feedback. So we can create different feedback boards depending on the same company. For example, it could be for development. It could be for the front end. It could be for, I don't know, anything you want in one single company. You have the change log also here. So we have all entries, new, improved. Now in the entries, you can add images. You can make different type of fonts and just make it a little bit more fancy. Okay. How is this actually created? We can create a brand new feedback board. That's what I'm telling you, that you can create several ones in the single company. But let's open this one right here, which is SAS Master Video Test. Now let's create a brand new one and let's just call this test and let's just say test, all right? So we don't consume a lot of time, okay? Once it's created, by default, it's in the open status. Now we can change this later on depending on what status it's on, right? So the idea is for users to start voting and if something's really popular, well, you can move it to plan, to in progress, and complete it or closed. So let's just say this is in progress. Let's update this feedback. And let's grab this, for example, upfeed video. Let's open that one. And this one, let's go change it to completed. Let's update that one. And let's go into our live view roadmap. So let's go roadmap. And you see that now these are moved. This one, this one's created, the test one, and this one was moved to completed. And people can upvote it, for example, depending if it's something that they want or not. It could be feature request, it could be modifications and things that might need to be, I don't know, developed. That's how you would do that. And it's actually pretty easy to do. Now, if we wanted to do uh, add a, a change log, we go into change log right here. And this is where we create a brand new change log post. For example, it could be, again, let's just say test, test, and just some random information right here. You, like I said, you can make this a little bit more fancy, add some images, some links so on and so forth let's create that one. Oh, i already took that that link okay let's go new entry and now it's created and that will be over here on the change log that we just added okay so that's a test and it's just the random text that i just added right now so it's pretty easy and straightforward to do that now what type of settings can we get with this let me show you the settings all right and the settings will go into company this is where you would add your company name the show roadmap show branding in this case i removed the branding which is the upfeed branding i don't want to use that we can add team members into this roadmap we can add the logo which you already saw already over there and integrators are coming later on so these are soon like i said things that are going to be developed in the future and the embed information is right here so you can embed it on your site in case you don't want to use the upfeed earl now once they they develop the custom domains that will be even better okay now these are the users that you would add right here and at the end we have organizations you can add the organizations as many as you want and let's let me go into this one right here just to show you uh, here it is switch company so in this case i switched to a brand new company a blank company and I can start a brand new feedback board right here. So I could be test, let's just say test, feedback, and I just created a brand new board. Go to public page, 
And this is just another one, all right? And like that, you can create for all the companies that you have or companies for your clients and so on and so forth, just like that. Now let's go to the request features just so you see what they're working on. So this is what Upfeed is working on right now. So planned, they got the custom domain. We saw that already. So people are, that's what they voted the, voted the most. Zapier's coming, um, anonymous voting. So right now they have to log in to actually vote and they want to add probably connect. So that's gonna be, this is planned already. So that's gonna come. And in progress, this is what's going on right now. So add timeline for each, custom, let's click on this one. Add custom, add timeline for each post, right? We can also comment on this. And again, we can do this on our roadmap also. Comment as, as a user and as an admin. Go back to roadmap. Um, upvote when creating, what? When creating request, okay. And these are completed. So these are the ones that have been recently completed. So remove the powered by, upfeed, embed feedback, embed on WP side, custom logos. So all this has been done. So that's what they're working on. And change lock, we're, we're able to view what they've been doing, all right? So they're on point one. And this was on February two. So that was about two weeks ago, a little bit over two weeks ago. So they're working on this. Those are things that you have to consider. So again, this price that you're gonna get is really good because it's unlimited. The drawbacks is that there's some things that are gonna be developed further on and later on. But again, this is something that if you grab it right now, I'm sure it's going to be really good in the future. Well, there you go, guys. That is Upfeed. If you guys want to grab the deals going on, remember the link will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more, but it gives you a small commission to keep on getting deals, making these deals for you guys, and just letting you guys know if it's actually getting worth getting or not. Well, thank you for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.